update. Getting your COVID-19 vaccination is an important part. Help everyone stay safe as we continue to fight the spread. And we can protect those most vulnerable around us. With easy access to vaccination locations and the growing ability for more people to be protected, it's our best shot to keep moving forward. It's our best shot for a strong, healthy community. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash vaccine. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the FIU Music Hour here on WDNA 88.9 FM. Each week at this time, we present live performances in the WDNA Jazz Gallery and feature students, faculty, and alumni from the Florida International University School of Music. I'm your host today, Paul Stainsland, Technical Director of the FIU School of Music, and along with our producer, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and our executive producer, Dr. Karen Velos, I'd like to welcome you to our show. Whether you are listening to us at home, in your car, or on wdna.org slash FIU, we are delighted to have you with us. Today, we are pleased to present the Matt Wiggler Band, featuring Matt on vocals and piano, Jamie Owsley on bass, and Addison Rifkind on guitar. The ensemble describes their music as unique arrangements of New Orleans-inspired blues, entertaining jazz, blues, and general music. Guided by the mission statement, everyone likes the blues. So let's get into the music. Good morning, Matt. Uh, what are you going to start with uh, today? Good morning. We're going to start with something you got. Thank you. 
something you got makes me bring home my pain. Something you got, girl, you ought to know. My, my, whoa, whoa, I love you so. Thank you very much. We're going to play another uh, kind of classic New Orleans song, Dr. John song called Qualified. Through your blindfold, gonna tell you now. You know that I'm qualified. Break it down. In a project slum, hanging out with all those skid row bums. I may be sick and I may seem dumb, but that don't mean that's where I'm coming from. Straight through your blindfold Gonna tell you now Don't you know I'm qualified
tragic slum Hanging out with all those skid row bums I may be sick and I may seem dumb But that don't mean that's where I'm coming from Wonderful. That was Such a Night by Dr. John, performed by the Matt Wiggler Band. And uh, we'll take a few minutes now and then uh, find out a little bit about Matt and the band. Um, tell me, how did you get started in music? And um, why, the, why jazz? What brought you to jazz? So actually, um, I first started with blues. I had a very influential teacher. I, was, I, I grew up in Maryland, near Baltimore. And um, I had a kind of my first influential piano teacher. I was eight years old, and he played in a sort of a local rock band. And the first album that he ever gave me when I was learning how to play piano was uh, Crawfish Fiesta by Professor Longhair, which probably is not that well known among a lot of jazz musicians necessarily, but it's. Um, it's very well known in New Orleans. So I got very interested in New Orleans music, blues music, and then the jazz came a little bit later. Then I had um, sort of a second very influential music mentor in Maryland named uh, Deanna Bogart, and I started playing with her band, also kind of a blues-oriented band. And then the jazz really started um, with another influential mentor I had in Baltimore, Cyrus Chestnut, who is a, I mean, the jazz musicians will, will know Cyrus Chestnut, the uh, jazz pianist. And um, so that was the journey, actually starting with blues and getting into jazz a little bit after. And how did you connect up uh, with these fellows? How'd the band form? Well, I met Jamie around the time that I moved to Miami, which was in 2013. And uh, we, uh, you know, had kind of a, a click right away, you know, when you hear music the same way as, as other musicians. And then Addison came here during the pandemic, and um, so we met, and I realized that he also uh, loves to play the blues, and so here we are. Mm. Um, I love your band's mission statement, everyone likes the blues. Uh, it, it seems it's, it's philosophical and musical at the same time. Where did that come from, and, and how did you settle on that type of repertoire? Well, this is a new mission statement that the guys haven't even heard of yet. It was actually in response to Russ's uh, oh, uh, request, but, but we, we like the mission statement. Um, the thing is that, I mean, I, I like to play music that's fun and the people can get up and dance and have a good mm -hmm. time. And, um, and I found when sometimes when you play at a jazz festival or a jazz venue and people aren't necessarily expecting that, we usually get a very positive reaction out mm. of mm. out of both you know the jazz audience and the blues audience, and also just you know people who like music. Um, but this is thinking about it now. This has always been some of my favorite music to play. Um, going back to my very first influential piano yeah. teacher, Chuck Field was his name. Uh, in Maryland, and so we're playing some of the stuff that was the you know the very first music that I really uh, got excited about. Yeah, so you've come full circle. Um, you're also um, you're also a businessman. You founded uh, W H or sorry M H W Live Music and Wiggler Group. Yeah, can you tell us like quickly about these organizations and what they do? Sure. M H W Live Music is um, in the hotel industry. Our clients are luxury hotels uh, all around the country and we contract the entertainment on behalf of the hotels. So the hot if you go into a luxury resort and you see musicians and DJs that play in the bars, restaurants, out at the pool, all of that stuff, we mm -hmm. contract that for, um, as of this moment, we have about 100 hotel clients that we do that for all around the country. Mm -hmm. um, 
Wiggler Group, I started in the pandemic when all the hotels shut down. Mm -hmm. And so we were kind of, we had nothing to do for an extended period of time. And we had uh, developed a sales process and hired some salespeople that I thought was very good. And it was basically um, allowing, it was allowing us to see what I call the big picture of uh, how to build a sales pipeline. So I had this idea. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we could offer that as a standalone service mm -hmm. to other businesses, um, not in the hotel industry. And so that, um, that has become its own uh, separate firm, and we do, uh, uh, it's basically outsourced business development. Something that could thrive during a pandemic. Right, and now yeah. they're both, you know, both doing well, and okay. um, so I'm uh, pretty busy. Yeah, how, how has that been? How has that um, entrepreneurship influenced your music, and you know, how does it work? Is one of them a side gig, or? Uh, I wouldn't call anything a side gig. I would mm. say I do a lot of stuff, and I, I'm, I'm very happy. I really enjoy all the things that I do. I mean, I spend more time in the office than I spend playing, you know, gigs, right? Mm. But, um, you know, I, I mean, I'll answer your question with something a little bit philosophical. Um, there is something analogous between uh, music especially as a band leader and business because, and, and this is something that, I haven't heard this talked about a lot, but I see mm -hmm. it very clearly now. Um, when, you, when you get the right guys to play in your band, I, I could actually, they could play and I could actually go outside and mm -hmm. go get a cup of coffee and come back and the, the, the train would stay on the track, right? right. If you hire the wrong, brand, the wrong band, that's not true. I mean, mm -hmm. and anybody who's hired musicians, maybe, you know, you pick up some guys that you're not sure about or you uh, don't have that click and you feel like, oh man, I have to be here micromanaging like, yeah. and making sure that people don't make a mistake. So the analogy is if you hire the right people, then they can, you know, take it and run with it, right. both in music and, I mean, even more in business, right? Because you yeah, see these yeah. big organizations where, you know, it's really a matter of hiring the right people for the right uh, roles and then and then getting out of the way. Yeah, right? yeah. Let Leaving the space. Gig. People, jazz musicians talk about playing the spaces, right? But yeah. I, it's the same thing in business. You have to get the right people in there and then get out of their way. Wow. Yeah, well, very interesting. Okay, well, um, let's um, let's get back to a little more music then. So we're going to do, actually, you said such a night. We're going to do such a night now. The previous one was qualified. But, oh, no problem. Both Dr. John songs from New Orleans. Such a night, such a night, sweet confusion under the moonlight, such a night, such a night. Here I am 
trying to steal you away from him. Oh, but if I don't do it, somebody else will. 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 And it's such a night. Such a night. Sweet confusion under the moonlight. Such a night. Such a night. To steal you away, the time seemed right. Your eyes met mine at a glance. You let me know that this was my chance. I couldn't believe my ears. My heart just skipped a beat. When you told me to take you walking down the street, you came here with my best friend, Jim. Here I am, stealing you away from him. Oh, but if I don't do it, somebody else will. 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 And it's Thank you very much.
You are listening to the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM, and today we're enjoying the Matt Wiggler Band. We're going to take a short break now. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Before we get back to live music with the Matt Wiggler Band, I'd like to tell you briefly about a few upcoming events at the Wertheim Performing Arts Center at FIU. We are fortunate to have two outstanding piano virtuosos on our concert hall stage this week. The first on Thursday, March 9th at 7.30 p.m. is University of Tampa professor Gregorius Zamparas. Then on March 10th at 8 p.m., we present Benjamin Grosvenor in collaboration with the Friends of Chamber Music of Miami. And we have a real treat for you when the FIU Latin Jazz Ensemble, under the direction of Dr. Michael Eckroth, performs in concert on March 14th at 7.30 p.m. So now let's continue back with some more music. Sleep when she'd begun her midnight. 
creeping, gonna find her. I said, I'm gonna find my baby. Texas going to Georgia, Oklahoma, Mississippi, Florida, going to Alabama, going to Louisiana, Tennessee. I said I'm going to find my baby, going to bring her home with me. She would never leave me Now she's gone away to grieve me I was fast asleep when she begun Her midnight creeping, gonna find her I said, I'm gonna find my baby Gonna bring her home with me I said, I'm gonna find my baby Gonna bring her home that used to hold me the tender way we used to kiss and I miss the way you used to touch me I miss the sweet taste of your lips I was a fool to ever leave you Never let me go. Well, now I'm so lonely here without you. Girl, how I miss you so. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts so bad. You were the best thing I ever had.
so blind to see that the greatest fool was me. I miss the arms that used to hold me. The tender way we used to kiss. And I miss the way you used to touch me. I miss the sweet taste of your lips. the arms that used to hold me the tender way we used to kiss when I miss the way you used to touch me I miss the sweet taste of your lips
sweetest thing But after a while you got so doggone wild Girl, it was a crying shame I got over it Finally got around it I said I finally got over it It's in my past to last I was so in love, it's so true, honey Now I find it all in vain Cause every time I turn my back You were hitting on another man I got over it Finally got around it I said I finally got over it It's in my past to last You did it all on purpose. I didn't want no angel or a girl who could only drive. All I wanted was some good woman who could keep me satisfied. I got over it. Finally got around it. I said I finally got over it. It's in my past to last.
finally got over, so wide I finally got around it, so deep finally came to the surface. Oh, I think you did it all on purpose. I didn't want no angel or a girl who could only jive. All I wanted was some good woman who could keep me satisfied. I got over it. Should I finally got over it? I said I finally got over it. It's in my past at last. Finally got over it. It's in my past at last. Great, fantastic. You've been listening to the Matt Wiggler Band with Addison Rifkind on guitar, Jamie Owsley on bass, and Matt Wiggler on vocals and piano. Here on the FIU Music Hour on WDNA 88.9 FM. I'm Paul Stainsland, and along with our producer, Dr. Russ Spiegel, and our executive producer, Dr. Karen Veloz, I'd like to thank our production crew, Viakel, Jerry, Josie, and Ruben, as well as WDNA's technical director and resident magician, Alex Audrich, and the rest of the WDNA staff. For more information about all our FIU music programs, you can call 305-348-2896 or like us on Facebook or Instagram and you'll be kept up to date with all of our upcoming performances. Thank you for joining us and we hope you tune in again here for more great music every Tuesday at 11 a.m. And our thanks to Matt, and Jamie, and Addison for performing for us today. So, uh, gentlemen, can you take us home with uh, one more tune? You got it. Baby, please, baby, please come back home. I said, baby, please, baby, please come back home. Don't you know I'm really sorry for all the things I've done wrong. When I come home from the road, this house just ain't a home. Ain't nothing been the same. Ever since you've been gone, baby, please. Baby, please come back home. Don't you know I'm really sorry for all the things I've done wrong?
please come back home I said baby please baby please come back home don't you know I'm really sorry for all the things I've done wrong Thank you very much.